yes, um, that was my husband's number, and he, he's right here. I just picked up his phone. Oh, okay. Um, you, is it okay to speak to me, or you need to speak with him? He's an oh, elder. Oh, no, no, you you sound um, nice. I'm okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, um, can I share okay, go ahead. Can I share a scripture with you? Oh, you got, okay. Where are you, where are you calling from? I'm just here at my house. Um, so oh, okay. I was going to share. You, okay, wait. Okay. I think I know where this is going, but hold on. Let me look up the scripture with you. <laughs> is it know. going in yeah. a bad a bad place by sharing a scripture or what? Say it again, though. It, is it going in a bad place by sharing a scripture? Oh, is no, that what you mean? No, oh, sharing, I scripture, see. No, sharing scripture is always really good. Oh, but good. You, you got the number from the King Hall, but hold on one second. <laughs> okay. All right. I got my Bible. Go ahead. What are we okay. looking at? 2 Corinthians 5, 18 through 20. <laughs> What's your name? Christine, what's your name? Tessa. Okay. Okay. All right. Go ahead. All okay. Right. So what I have in the NASB is uh, he's kind of talking about the things we have because of Christ in 2 Corinthians 5, and he's talking some about his ministry, but the Apostle Paul. So he says, now all these things are from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation, namely that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not counting the wrongdoings against them. And he has committed to us the word of reconciliation. Therefore, we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God were making an appeal through us. We beg you on behalf of Christ to be reconciled to God. Okay. So Go ahead. is that your message, or is that anything similar to the message that um, you all proclaim? Jehovah's Witnesses? Yeah. yeah. So when it, when it talks about... Uh, Things are from God and reconciled to us mm -hmm. through himself. Christ gave us the ministry of reconciliation. So the part of the ministry that we do when we go out and knock on doors, when we're at the park, when we call people, um, you know, when we have a car set up in the metropolitan areas, that is following Jesus' example. Jesus went to where the people were, marketplaces. He went everywhere. And so the ministry of the reconciliation, that's what we do, our preaching and teaching. So that meant when it talks about the reconciliation, that means restoring friendship or harmony with God. So that's what we try to help people to do. Um, Paul's the not scriptures. Paul's not writing about friendship or harmony with God. He's preaching about yes, how is. to become a child. He's child. talking about the reconciliation. Reconciliation means getting your relationship yeah. with God. Better. But yes, he's talking to the Corinthians. Yeah, and that's what he's talking about. The only about. context to that in Paul is those who are. Uh, spirit begotten or born again children of God. He gives no um, gospel for a you know, different kind of gospel for ones called like other sheep or Jonah dabs or anything else. Um, he, he talks about either, whenever he talks about the anointed, the anointed and which the is other all sheep the time. work together. Yeah, which is the anointed only, and the other sheep right. work together. You know, when and so by extension, but why did you call? You want to argue? <laughs> you, when we call people, we share what the Bible says, and right. it's up to them as to what they're going to accept. But it doesn't. We know that Jesus said, if they're going to, if they hated me, they're going to hate you. So I don't think anybody hates we're you. Not, all. People... We're, no, but I'm saying that's the that's the way that we would be treated. But it doesn't bother us because we're doing what Jesus told us to do. So when people believe different, we talk to people of different religions, just like Jesus talked to the Samaritan woman. He knew that she had her own beliefs, but he also knew that he had something in addition to what she already knew that could benefit her. And so that's what we do. So when people say, I'm not interested, I don't want to hear it, we say, okay, that's between them and Jehovah. What we do is we plant, we water, and anything that happens after that has nothing to do with us. And so um, we don't get upset. We don't get. We don't yeah, try to change these, do I. people's opinions. Yeah, but, but that's what. Yeah, your your tone your tone changed it, immediately. It changed. And so, well, I'm just trying so to tell anyway. you something about Paul that he didn't preach um, other sheep or reconciled to God okay, through. I don't agree with that. Through through the that. Watchtower so organization. Let's, 
could, do this. Could I be cut? Just one Wait, second. You you talk like nonstop. Could I be? Could I be? Us? How how did Paul teach? Were you ever once one of Jehovah's Witnesses? No. Yes or no? No. How did okay. Paul teach how to be reconciled to God? And did it have anything to do you. with a okay. you know with an organization? I gotta go. <laughs> Why? Do you have a minute? Uh, you were doing a phone witnessing? Yeah, you know, sharing a scripture. Um, I'm, this is the kingdom hall. I'm, I live in the kingdom hall. Oh, you live in it? That's interesting. I didn't know anybody, like, could live in one. <laughs> <laughs> is there, like, a, a little... What congregation, a, are you, what congregation are you from? Oh, I'm not a Jehovah's Witness. I'm just doing, I have a phone witnessing ministry. I see. I didn't know. Do some of them have like an apartment or something like that? Yes. That's interesting. Yeah. I didn't ask for help. I was just doing some phone witnessing, sharing a scripture, if you have a minute. Sure. What scripture you want to share? Okay. It's from 2 Corinthians 5, 18 through 20. Um, Hold on. Let me, let me look it up. Hold okay. On cool. I got it. Get my phone going here. Okay. Uh Second Corinthians chapter five. Uh huh. And verse eighteen through twenty. Okay. Um. You want me to read it or do you want to? Yeah, you read it. Okay, I got the NASB. It says, now all these things, well, Paul's kind of talking about his ministry. Oh, wait, a minute, wait a minute, I'm sorry. Hold on one second. Okay. I have it in Spanish. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, I'm in a Spanish congregation. Oh, Spanish. okay. Got it. Okay. So this is the NSB. Paul's talking about his ministry and that he was entrusted with the gospel and what we have in Christ, those, those kind of things. And so he says, now all these things are from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation, namely that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not counting their wrongdoings against them. And he has committed to us the word of reconciliation. Therefore, we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God were making an appeal through us, we beg you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. Um, so I was just wondering about, he, he mentions that word reconciliation or be reconciled, um, you know, because we're born separated from God, from sin. Um, you know, according to Paul, how are, how are we reconciled to God? Um, what the scripture says, uh, if you continue, uh, just verse 20. Oh, yeah. Therefore, therefore we are mm -hmm. ambassadors substituting for Christ as though God were making an appeal through us as substitutes for Christ, we beg, become reconciled to God. Mm -hmm. uh, the one who did not know sin, he made to be sin for us. Jesus Christ, that is, so that by means of him, we might become God's righteousness. Yeah. So, is that an imputed righteousness or our own? Is it is that talking about imputed? No, it's, no. it's counted to us as righteousness? Like, you know, that's what justified means, counted righteous, declared righteous. Uh, yeah, yes, that's true. Mm -hmm. And, and the, the thing that I understand here is that by means of obeying Jesus Christ, Doing mm -hmm. the, doing the, living the life, the truth that uh, mm -hmm. Jesus taught, uh, we become reconciled to God by oh. doing His will. Really? And, and, and so you the, can, you the, can be. What about being? Paul said, "Dead in trespasses and sins." How are you made alive? Is it a gradual process through uh, your works? No, it's faith. Uh, John, John chapter three, uh, from uh, oh my goodness, uh, from sixteen on. It, explains that if you obey Jesus Christ, that's the that's the main main way to show that you have faith. Oh yeah, it shows you have faith, but is that what justifies you or gets your sins forgiven in, in the oh, New no. Testament? No, no, no. The the justification is an undeserved kindness of God. It's something that God does for, for us because we're imperfect sinners. We continue to be every day. And uh, well, obviously Jehovah's Witnesses believe that uh, if it wasn't for uh, the faith we have, uh, then 
God could not impute to us uh, any kind of uh, approval or what's, whatsoever. But he accepts us as his children when we uh, faithfully obey uh, Jesus Christ, live by his standards. And uh, Well, you first were saying you were justified by faith, and now you're saying he accepts us as his children when we obey Jesus. So you're mixing you're mixing both no, 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 works no. and faith. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. The, the faith, the faith that we it, we can never be perfect. We can we cannot maintain God's righteous standards because we're imperfect sinners. All of us are, and as a result of that, we need we need Jesus Christ as our our Savior, and we we can't. And by the way, do you believe in the Trinity? Oh, I didn't call to talk about that. We were just talking about, I just want to stick with this one passage. I I do, I do, because historically Christians have always. And if you don't believe in the Trinity, you're going to have the wrong Jesus, like saying he's an angel or something like that. You know what's really interesting? What we just just read today, just let me say this, what we just read today explains very clearly that Jesus and Jehovah are not the same person. Yeah, and, uh, that's that, that's obvious from what we read today. Yeah, right. That's what Trinitarians believe in: that there is only one God. He exists eternally in three persons: Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now, the Watchtower misleads you all to believe uh, something else about the meaning of it. I've seen oh, it. No, I've seen it no, in the literature. No, no. <laughs> they now teach that you're promoting false doctrine. I, I can't talk to you anymore. Really? That's, that's I, the end of it. I will really. talk. That's I talk to anybody. I mean, you guys give false prophecies, and I'm talking to you. What's what's where, who says you can't talk to anybody? No, you see, the point is, if you believe in the Trinity and accept that God is Jesus Christ is God, when obviously the Bible says and the angel talked to Maria and said he's the Son of God, not God. Right, the so only anyway, begotten, the only begotten, which the fathers understood as of the, the first same nature. Of God. No, they did not teach that. No, Arius taught that beginning in the 300s, and he was um, condemned, you know. I mean, being God does not mean Jesus is the Father, although in your publications it does say they misdefine. You know why why we don't talk anymore? It's because it's a waste of time. Thank you so much for calling. God bless you. Hello. Oh, hi. Uh, my name is Christine. I got your number at the Kingdom Hall. I'm sorry? Um, I got your number at the Kingdom Hall. Yes. Oh, yeah. I just have a quick question. Um, okay. I was talking to a, a Jehovah's Witness online yesterday. Um, we have uh-huh. a group that is Bible discussion and things like that. And um, I was trying to understand his point of view, but um, I just wanted to run one thing by you. Is that okay? I wanted to get your opinion sure. on it. It's in a, d- a different sure. writing. I'll, I'll do what I can. Oh, okay. Um, it's in a Christian book that I read. Um, I don't know if you guys read other books besides um, like the magazines and stuff. But anyways, mm-hmm. um, this is called The Summary of the Gospel. And um, it says, what is the gospel in essence? It is the good news that though all men were and are sinners, and therefore under the sentence of death, Christ paid the penalty for their sins on the cross, so that all who would come to him in faith and repentance and accept his atonement for their sins are delivered from death and receive eternal life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what do, you, what do you think about that? Well, um... I mean, that's, that's in line with what, I mean, Jesus was the means by which, you know, sins could be forgiven and we could be reconciled to God. Hmm. You know, um, matter of fact, in Acts chapter 4, verse 12, it says there's no salvation in anyone else, mm-hmm. and there's no other name under heaven which, you know, men can be saved. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's that's the means for salvation, to be able to get sins forgiven, because we're all, you know, we inherited sin from Adam. And, you know, when we were born, we were born sinners, you know, just through, just like a, like a gene that you inherit from your parents, uh, that's what sin is. We inherited that from from our parents, the original ones, Adam and Eve. And yeah, there was I, no but way. I think the reason I was asking about it is because when I've asked 
several Jehovah's Witnesses, they used to be out on with their carts and stuff. Um, yeah. What is the good news? Uh, this is not what they said. They didn't say anything even similar to this. So I was just, I'm kind that of Jesus trying to get a hint. Jesus is the means of salvation? Right. They didn't even mention Jesus. They talked well, about, like, the, I mean, that's, paradise that's the, that's the, and... Earth well, that's the and... basis for our beliefs, because, I mean, yeah, we, we mm. do have that hope of living forever on a paradise earth, but even that means comes by means of Jesus' sacrifice. Yeah, so that, I, I uh, think if you pressed them on it, so they I... might say that, that that's a starting point, um, but it's yeah. not complete for salvation. It's not sufficient, because then you guys yeah. would believe there was other Christians on the earth besides Jehovah's Witnesses, wouldn't you, if this was the good news, the gospel? <laughs> Yeah the, yeah, the gospel could yeah. do and, But and you don't. Really they don't. God, they say. Yeah, only every... God knows. Yeah, no, that, God no knows your literature says. Uh, no, your literature says that people who, who aren't in the organization aren't on the ark of salvation. I mean, only God knows. <laughs> uh, yeah, know, they exactly. blatantly no, teach no, that. A, they blatantly teach that. It's a hope that we that. have. We, we can't, you know, presumptuously say, hey, I'm going to get everlasting life. They you know, actually just, do. You know, through, through they God's, act, it's through God's yeah. mercy. I know, but they act as far as other people. Um, you know, if this is the gospel here, if this is the good news, well, there's obviously yeah. other Christians, but for I think for you guys, it's just like a start point. And then, uh, l let me just give you an example. I saw this on the website. It says that, um, well, actually, it gets into also that Jesus only suffered for the sins of Adam. He only replaced Adam, whereas the Bible says that um, he himself bore our sins in his own That's body true. on the tree. So um, that couldn't really. But be they possible. originated. They originated from Adam. You know, they. they uh, I'm not sure what you what you were reading, but I mean, oh, that, the well, sin when they have originated from Adam. No, they say that um, it's a court. They add a word corresponding ransom, and then here on the website, right. it's really right. interesting, and that means corresponding to just Adam. And so that what that gives you guys, I guess, in the teaching is the opportunity for just like a great reset. People being resurrected. And because of that, they get what Russell called a fair chance, you know. So he, that's why he developed his whole scheme. It's called the divine plan of the ages. He felt it was unfair, like people never heard of Jesus or, you know, people don't understand or whatever. But anyways, like here on the website, it's really interesting. It says, Jesus' sacrifice is a corresponding ransom for all and that's the quote, corresponding ransom from all for all from the New World Translation. And then it says, for all those who take the steps necessary to benefit from it. Um, so what are what are those steps of how you could benefit from it? It doesn't really say well, here. Have, you have to well, you have to like uh, you know John seventeen three says taking in knowledge of God and Jesus is you know you have to take in knowledge and you have to follow through on by acting on it and you know not just you know taking it for granted you have to really believe it and you have to change your life and live according to you know what god's uh, law is for us and you know they believe and believe in the means by which salvation comes which you know when you say you know you mentioned something about a corresponding you know something that corresponds to something else means mm -hmm. it's equal to that so you know jesus giving his perfect life bought back what adam lost you know so it's, it corresponds with what See, yeah, adam was well, perfect at the beginning you, you know don't you agree they, that yeah, course, was, the word perfect in the beginning. The word corresponding isn't really in other translations. But so, are you okay. saying that where do you, where do you get that knowledge that you take a knowledge of the Father and the Son? Is it from um, the organization? Well, it's from the scriptures, from the Bible. Oh, could you find it only in the Bible yourself? Do what? Could you find out the steps necessary by just reading the Bible yourself? Well, sometimes you need some help. Remember when uh, Philip was talking to the Ethiopian eunuch and he asked me if he understood what yeah. he was reading? And uh -huh. he helped him. He helped him. Sure. So sometimes we need help. I mean, I sometimes. had to have help. I don't, I don't know. And I'm still learning. I'm, you know, still taking it all in. But, yeah, uh, I, think I, though, what, I, I think, though, that what they say is you cannot find the truth by just reading the Bible. I mean, I can show you that where they said that. So what yeah. your your okay. view is sometimes you need help, That that's not what they teach. You know, they teach that you, you can read the Bible all your life and, and still not know because they you have yeah. to be in touch with the channel. They call it channel. Yeah, I appreciate that. 
Listen, yeah. I, I hate this. I'm, I enjoy talking to you. But I'm in the hospital right now. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just getting oh. over surgery, and I'm. Oh uh, no! I, I hate to break out. <laughs> yeah. I'm I didn't not, want to bother you I'm with pre- that. Oh. No, that's fine. You no, sound like you're doing calling. okay. I your... Are you doing yeah, okay? Yeah, doing pretty good. Yeah, I had a knee replacement with some infections, oh, so we're we'll waiting to oh, see if they got it all or not. Oh, so, uh, well, I hope it turns out but good. But yeah, so I, I appreciate yeah, that. But thanks for yeah. your questions. Thanks for thanks for talking to me. God bless you. All right, bye bye. Okay, see ya.